What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be taking you through what a day in the life of a radiology resident on a breast imaging rotation looks like. I think a lot of people don't realize that radiologists do procedures and see patients, which is partly why I wanted to make this kind of video. On this rotation, we primarily read mammograms and breast ultrasounds, but we also do procedures like ultrasound guided biopsies and stereotactic or x-ray guided biopsies. It's about 7.15 right now. I wanted to get here a little early to do some filming. So I'm just gonna have some coffee, log in, and get to work. For breast imaging, we work from 7.30 to 4.30 and then break in the middle of the day for lunch and for lecture, typically from 12.15 to 1 p.m. Lectures have mostly been over Zoom due to the pandemic, but we're slowly starting to have more in-person lectures now. So this is kind of what the workstation looks like. As you can see here, this is the dictaphone, which we use to dictate our reports. Our team consists of myself, and I typically sit right here, an R2 who typically sits over here, a fellow, and the attending who sits over here and some days we'll have either one or two medical students in the reading room with us these are some biopsy devices that we have in the room to practice and we use these spring-loaded biopsy devices for ultrasound guided breast biopsies where we take a tissue sample from a lesion that we suspect might be cancer and then we send that tissue to the lab for the pathologist to look under the microscope and tell us what it is we also have this vacuum assisted biopsy device, which we use for stereotactic biopsies. Those are essentially x-ray guided where we use a mammogram to triangulate what part of the breast to biopsy when there are suspicious calcifications, for example. Anyways, time to get back to work. I also wanna show you the room that we do stereotactic biopsies in which is right over here through these doors. Basically, when there are calcifications in the breast that were suspicious might be cancer, we use mammography or this x-ray machine to help guide our biopsy needle and obtain a sample so that the pathologist can take a look at it under the microscope. I'll also take you to one of our ultrasound rooms where we put a little bit of gel on the ultrasound probe and then use it to evaluate breast lumps and bumps, which might be cancer, but can also be things that are benign, such as cysts, fibroadenomas, and galactoseals. So on this rotation, we also have radiology pathology conference on Tuesday mornings and multidisciplinary tumor board on Friday mornings. And the residents present the cases for RADPATH on Tuesdays, and then the attendings handle tumor board on Friday mornings. Basically for RADPATH, we review the cases for the patients that had biopsies the week before, and then we go over the pathology results to see if they're concordant with the imaging findings, meaning if we thought something was cancer based on the mammogram or the ultrasound, did it turn out to be cancer on the biopsy? Or if we expected something to be benign, did it turn out to be benign? And does it make sense given the patient's symptoms and their imaging findings? I was pretty nervous to present at RADPATH conference for the first time because I only had one week of breast radiology experience, but I had really good guidance from my seniors and thankfully it went pretty smooth. At this point in the year, we also have a intro to radiology series that the chief residents put on at lunchtime for about 45 minutes, where they basically give us the basics of things like fluoroscopy, ultrasound, a little bit of neuroradiology, chest radiographs, and it's just a really nice way to kind of get some of the basics in and start off the year. So far, this has been a great rotation because I've seen relatively uncommon conditions and procedures and cases like male breast cancer, gynecomastia, MRI-guided biopsies, wire localization procedures, which are done prior to a patient having surgery, as well as a ductogram, which is when we use contrast or dye in order to take a better look at the ductal system of the breast. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the video here since it's getting late and I wanna go home and chill. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below. I'll probably do a video very similar to this for my next rotation, which is musculoskeletal radiology. So on that note, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.